Hello everybody and welcome to Hellblade. We are back here. I think this is episode 5 maybe? I don't know. In the last episode we got our asses whooped. We were another disgrace to our darkness friend inside of our head. The baby whispers were disappointed. And it's all, all, all over wasn't a good time. We got our asses whooped by Hella. But uh, now we're going to make our way. You know, I feel like walking for a bit. I could run, but I did a lot of running in the last episode. I just want to walk. I just want to take everything in. Let me know how are you guys doing today. What's uh, what's up? And do not forget, I did put the uh, the link to the um, to the website for the help. Oh, there's our water bender for the. I put the link in there for the um, for the help for the. I don't want to call it. I don't want to like offend anybody. It's like, it's 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 help for like people with um, mental disabilities like schizophrenia, psychosis, and stuff like that. If you know anybody that uh, suffers from those things. Uh, they do offer help on the Hellblade website. Uh, they offer like links and in, in, in stuff and places that you can go to find. Like, they, they, they offer like support on there. That's all I'll say. I don't know too much about it because I haven't looked into it heavily, but they offer support on there. I think I'm supposed to go up there, but hold on. Hold on. But this actually looks like a. W oh, found a face. Never mind. Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away, because the whole ocean is your home, and it does not ask you to swim against it. Huh. <laughs> and I also like how, like, the collectibles... I like how the collectibles in this game are just knowledge. Like, it's just... Like, there's nothing in here to actually, like, get and take with you, but... there, But except, like, that piece of information that she has, like, from her mother. Which, in all, carries more weight than, like, finding a new item to me. In a game like this. In a game... In a game like this, what do you think it is? She's right there. He's up here water bending just a minute ago. You're in my mind too, and you won't shut the fuck up. So let me have this. There he was, the lone figure of a boy. Oh, uh, what am I looking at? The shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she. What the fuck? Y'all see that shit over there? That's the tree that I used for the uh, the extra. That scared the fuck out of me. What is this gonna focus on this? The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sig. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother in law, King Sigi, wants it. But Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. So you get the concept of like, oh, like... There's a party going on, and he shows up, and he's like, This isn't a party! The other child to fuck me! And then... <laughs> and he gets a whole party. He gets a whole party, and there's a fucking army. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy, and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. 
Not in mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Uh, come on, bro. You can't cuck me like this. You can't, you can't do that to somebody. You'll never guess what happens. The uh, only reason I came down here is because I saw this little hole. Uh, there's nothing in the hole, so... There you go. How are you going to cuck somebody like that? They, all they want is information, you're just going to... Just going to fuck... Uh, I want to go up here, because it doesn't look like the bridge goes anywhere, but it looks like there's something up there. So, let's see. We have to be on the lookout, because I want to know what happened to Sigmund. That's the one I just read. I just gotta be on the lookout for more, because I wanna know what happened. Tell me what happened to Sigmund. I, I need to find out. I does his, I does his need to know. Why did I come up here? Pourquoi? Whatever. But uh, we need to find the rest of the story because I want to know. She slathered him in honey. His face, I guess. Slathered his face in honey. But for what reason? Do not know. Who the fuck does that shit? I know your brothers have been eaten night after night after from one wolf. Like one particular wolf has just been coming back at night after night eating your brothers. You know what I got for you, bruh? Some honey. Just slather your face in honey. Say goodbye to uh, all that annoying acne. Because you're going to be looking good when that wolf devours the shit out of you. And for the most part, they've just been on a path. I just don't want to miss it. Is it over here? Bruh, can you find it? Back this way? Yo. I don't know where I'm going. I feel like I could have just walked straight here. Oh, wait! As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break. And he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. <coughs> so she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches him. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. So I did go the long way to find. I guess I technically. But what? Wait. So put honey on his face. 
the the wolf comes by and like dogs fucking do, they lick everything before they just eat it. If it's something that they're not used to. So she licks his face and he's like, Oh, I have a bright fucking idea and bites the wolf's fucking tongue. Not only does he bite like not only does he like bite its tongue, but that breaks him free of the chains. That's what I don't get. How did biting the tongue free? What? This carnivorous animal came up and bit the, like is it is it, threatening to eat you, licks your face, you bite its fucking tongue and you're just not fuck. You're free. What? Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him. Affecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out. So y'all gonna hide shit from me? No, I need to know more. Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. <laughs> she gives birth to a son of Dean Sinfury. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. Luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. Is that the end of the fucking story? Hold on. You, you, so, you, what is her fucking game? What, like, oh, my brother's tied to a tree. I'll cover his face in honey. I'm guessing so you think that the, the wolf would definitely come for sure and eat his ass, I guess? But no, your magical brother bites the wolf's tongue and breaks free of the trains. Doing break for the change. The change has come off, come, come off fairly. And then, oh, that shit didn't work. I know what I'll do. I'll fuck him. What? Why? What? You couldn't have just. You couldn't have just found a strong kid. You couldn't have just kidnapped a strong kid. No, no, no. Got to The fuck? Kind of weird. I'm gonna have to read this story because I don't understand. <coughs> I don't understand. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Look how happy she is. You can't even fight. It's just a deception. How does he so effortlessly court the world in bliss? If only she could do the same. <sighs> See the world through eyes anew. And dark. Sad thing is, like, she deserves this, man. Like, she's been through so much. She's literally been through hell. She just, like, seeing her, like, like happy like that is, oh, man, that touches my heart. My heart. My heart. Hold on. Hold on. I want to do this real quick. I want you guys to be able to witness it without my handsome face in the way. Look at her. Bruh. She's so happy. You're trying to make best thumbnail girl, huh? Alright. We'll continue on, but it's it's really nice. I know it's gonna turn out to be actual more hell up here. But goddamn she's enjoying it for the moment. Those blue bonnets? seen you before. I'm not at only home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I I watched you and you learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That 
moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things work. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering would have been for nothing! Shut up! He was so goddamn emotional. You want to believe it? Is it not real? Hold on, I think there's a thing down here. You're alone in these mountains. Is that Dillian? Nothing lives here. And Dillian is not a rock. You won't survive. What is this? You met him on the tree. Is it what? I don't know. have to come back there later. He's waiting for you by the tree. I know. Dillian's gonna have to wait, because uh I'm trying to see what are what is what is this? Uh focusing on it does nothing. I guess I'll have to come back and figure out what it is. But I did see one of those uh little talky rocks. Talky rocks. Those uh, things down here. Down by the beach. Talk to me, tell me more. Sigmund and Sinfiotli are being buried alive. Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. But she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to go back. Or not go back, but I'm actually going to have to go read this story, like, after this little setting. I'm going to have to take time and just read this, because we're not understanding. Like, w was she trying to kill him, or was she trying to help? I don't understand, like, what her thing is. Like, just, no, like, slather honey on my brother's face, and that shit didn't work? Fuck him. That did, that, but I feel bad for fuck him, so, you know what? Back into the flames I go. Give you strong adventure. How do you, like... Like, what? I'm at a loss of words. Uh, can I swim? Or am I gonna die if I keep going out here? Oh, thank god there's an invisible wall. Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? I will wander out there and, uh, and cheat myself. Hold on, is there anything out here? Waiting in the water, waiting in the water, children, wait in the water. Is there more? And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, a 
an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted it. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make Sword. Um, Am I gonna find that sword and start whooping ass? I just can't get past the like. Why? Like, why did my 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 brother must have a strong son? I'll fuck him. Why couldn't you find somebody else to fuck him? You weren't strong. What did you have to do with it? You could have told any 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 hoe off the street like, yo, he's very strong. He's gonna be a legend someday. You can be a part of that legend if you spread your legs for my brother. That would have been weird, but not as weird as giving it up yourself, man. Like, what the... Why? Is there anything in this hole? It's not a hole. I'm just exploring everything before I go in there. Okay. What the fuck kind of... Never easy. These are the things that I was trying to see earlier. You're the chosen one. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? Did we go somewhere? It feels wrong. Where are we oh. now? I don't know. Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very... Ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. The reckoning! The second egg! I'm sorry. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving.
Two things of the sword that was made by those bastard at his door, uh, door was right? Why oh, is this game so fucking dope? Like, I like games that are more, like, I, I'm a sucker for games that are more, like, exp No, it is half and half. Like, I, like, games that are experiences but respect themselves as experiences and don't try to, like, sell themselves as, like, it's everything you fucking want! No. When a game, like, sells itself, like, as an experience for what it is, like this, then it's, it's dope. Then I can fully respect you. I don't want to go over there. Fuck that. I want to explore the mountain more. Oh, what was the shit to explore? <laughs> I explored all two feet. Had to go back. I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to. It is too dark. You shouldn't be in here. Can I attack with a torch? I can't. Uh -huh. So don't know what I'm doing. What are these little things in the wall? Uh huh. I don't know what we're doing. join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, the <coughs> men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father, after passing through these ghostly fires, as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. So fucking elaborate. What the fuck? I guess I've been there. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find a thing. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Use your mind. Select it. This way? What is this way then? You don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself, you'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. 
Uh, oh, it's the shields, I think. This is actually kind of fucking creepy. And the shield is what's different. So am I going for what's the same or what's different? So I'm guessing what's different, because I don't find having any luck with that. This way doesn't have a mark on it. I think for the most part it's follow the ship. Within the burial mind, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave minds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone <laughs> mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the way that I win, but this is the way that I win when I was actually having some luck, so let me try this again. Which way did we go? We went that way last time, so let's go this way. Something tells me we are finding the right place. We went to the left. Dillion 
wants me to face my fears. <laughs> We're about to face a pretty big one because I. See the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief said, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! I... I get it. That's, um... That's so amazing. That's, uh... The... the her going in and having to... I'm sure you guys figured out by now. The same time I did when I made that fucking face. The, uh, her, her in the house and not being able to, like, find her way in or out, I guess, uh, was her, her dad. Because her dad never let her leave. Her dad never let her go anywhere. Or, like, you know, when she did, like, sneak out and, like, learn, like, fighting and stuff like that, it's because she snuck out. But that was her standing up to her father. That was actually really dope. Wow, that was, that's, that's, aw that's awesome, man. Um, I think, how much time do we have? I will I will do one more. I will try to do one more, I should say. If it's another maze, then <laughs> we might have to cut it short. But hopefully I think the maze thing was just significant to the dad part because the cause she never was able to like get out of the house. So that was that was that was really cool. I think the parts Does she have face paint on now? No. Oh yeah she does. I think there there's like a, a significance of like her having face paint and her not having face paint sometimes. I saw once a I plague think. strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Uh, I like being out here better. <laughs> I'd much rather be out here than be inside. I don't know. There's who? Dillian? Dillian! No. Yo, yeah, don't fucking jinx me. Oh, uh, once I jump down here, do I have a way out? 
Ugh. The test. Like the old warrior trials. Delian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. Smell for us. day when she went to the river with Delian at the others. But the water. Oh, it's another one of these things. taste the rot. You boy. No one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like Well, I don't know. I'm a. Uh, I'm akin to Bell Raven's tricks. Did that do anything? Or no? The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a At first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hand, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned in the sea. Mm. That is not the end of it. Because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware. Because there will be death in that house. See, I'm akin to all of Bell Raven's tricks already, so I scoff at you, sir. I said I don't like going inside places. I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Where is he? Find him. Come out if you have to find him. The wings. Damn it! They're coming for me! Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, bye. Bye, my dude. Goodbye. Nope. I don't have a sword. Just go. Run. Fuck this shit. Oh, hello. Thank you. And goodbye. So there's a light over there. Shh. Goodbye. Just keep running and finding the lights. Got you. No, it ain't. What's up, Dylan? Dylan, my boy. There's light. There's light. There it is. Boop. There we go. Another one. There it Looks like it's over there. Bye. I can't find you. It's uh we're going the right way? Yes. Peace out, fuck boys. You've got them. You have them. Where's the door? Find a way out. Find the gate. Gotta find the door, my dude. Oh god. Bye. 
Where's the door? Where's the door? Well, I don't know if we're looking for a white light or if I'm looking for no. Look, I think the door is red. It was glowing red, so. But not that red, not him. Just I don't remember if there's any actual direction where the door was. Uh, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna just be running around for a while until I find this shit. Where's that symbol? Oh shit! Woo! Woo! Is that the door? No. <laughs> I have no sense of direction, guys. None. None at all. Oh, there it is! Get up in this bitch! No, you have to stay in there. No, bad. Bad. Darkness is true to me. Wooden doors. Sanua! Sanua! What happened? Blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. My children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make no What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Is that? That's her running away from her blame. I guess. I don't, I, I don't know. The dad thing was more clear, but that. This, this is a pretty cool trial. I don't like being chased by things, but it's fine. We have two more trials to go, and the next up. Y'all yeah, remember that branch right there? Just looked like, like toes. Y'all got fucked up. But, uh. The next episode, we'll go ahead and take on two more of the trials to get our bomb ass sword so we can start fighting shit. I was gonna say fight shit better, but fighting better. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little hungry, so like my grammar is slipping, but I want to go ahead and do that, so I want to get the sword. Wait, we'll do, we'll, we'll save that for the. Who is that? Nope. We'll say we'll save that for next time. Yeah, this series is going along wonderfully. Besides from the last video where we had like the editing not the editing problem, but the, the, the sound problem. This is turning out to be Oh yo, I just scared the shit out of myself. Yo, I'm gonna break the fourth wall. But I looked at the audio right now and on the top of it it like the, the on like the, the top where it says like the name of the file it says Hib Hellblade 4 2. That was the last episode. And I was like, yo, why did it say Hellblade 4 2? It's because I haven't saved it as number 5 yet. I'm dumb. And hopefully I will remember to click save as and not save because that'll fuck everything. But thank you guys for joining me so much. I'm going to quit talking your ear off with stuff y'all don't care about. Whatever. But thank you guys for checking out the video. Love you guys. I'm away, Anchor, and get up out of here. Peace!